morning, Monday again. Um, we're now halfway through February and hopefully you'll be joining me for your Monday motivation and uh, Shibashi set. It's uh, a little bit warmer today so uh, hopefully you didn't get too cold over the weekend. Hope everyone had a lovely Valentine's Day, whatever you were doing. Good morning, Jane. Um, we didn't do a lot. Um, I bought Andy a um, copy of Motorcycle News for a treat um, for his Valentine's Day Prezi and um, he's got me a new kitchen worktop so I think I've done better at the deal and that's arrived this morning so we're going to be spending the rest of the week sorting that out. We've got new taps to go on sorting out the worktop. Hi Ange, morning to you. Um, so yes, quite a quiet weekend for us. I'm more excited about Pancake Day tomorrow. Um, so I hope you are uh, all going to have a few pancakes going tomorrow. Hi Janet and hi Chris, thanks for joining. So yeah, I hope everyone's well and fit. I've seen now that um, if you're over 65 and haven't had your Covid jab yet, then you can book an appointment through the NHS website. So if you haven't had a call up, um, or you think they've missed you out, and you're, as long as you're 65 or older, you can now go ahead and book the appointment. So you can get onto the NHS website, make sure you don't pay for anything, just get your time slot sorted. If you need help with a link or anything, then drop me a message and I'll send you the info over. But it's now a blanket 65 and over you can go and get jabbed if you haven't already had one who else is on morning jean and pauline hooray you've joined us pauline has a very hectic social life um she's always up to something so yeah nice to see you've joined me both done on saturday well done jane I'm glad to hear that yeah it's, it's not i think uh more and more people are getting jabbed so um haven't had mine yet but um I will let you know as soon as it's imminent. Right. Hope everyone's feeling fit and well. And there's no new problems I should know about. Um, we are going to do a nice gentle warm up. And then we are going to take a look at the breathing a little bit again. Um, making sure you're, you're at least trying to, um, to breathe from the belly. And we'll do a shibashi set. So... Uh, Maybe a little bit of balance if we can fit it in. So we'll give it a go. Um, hopefully I shouldn't get disturbed today. Nothing's happened outside since last Monday. So those that you were here on last Monday's class, you heard the chainsaw in and the, um, uh, just general noise and things. Uh, the weather has put pay to anything happening last week. So hopefully they'll be turning up sometime this week. We were fine while it was frozen. But now we've got the mud back because it's all thawed, so that's a bit bleh. Um, morning, Lynn. Nice to see you. Last Monday. Oh, last Monday you had your jab. Yeah. Good. Um, hopefully nobody's experienced two chronic side effects. I've heard mixed stories from people. Some have had a real rough time afterwards and, and other people have just said, I was fine now, I'm hurt a bit. Or... Uh, uh, the headache seems to be the most common side effects. A lot of people suffer from the headache for two or three days. But it's a small price to pay, I think. Right. Up we get. As always, should you need to use a chair for anything, have your chair handy. And what I do want to do is just check... For anyone new joining using the chair, the seating position. So, if you are seated, sit forward in the chair so you're not leaning against the back. Make sure you've got a chair with no arms on it because the arms will just get in the way of what you want to do with your arms. So you can sit comfortably, but just not slumping into the back. Um, I find it helps to sit, sl sit slightly forwards. Feet flat to the floor and try to get a right angle in that knee joint. So hopefully your chair is letting you keep the tops of the legs nice and horizontal to the floor. And then straight down from the knee. C. 
sitting up straight if you're in the chair. So think about rocking that pelvis down and slightly back, pulling up through the chest and relaxing the arms and shoulders down. So if you're working from the chair, everything we do standing, do from this seated position. And where we're going up onto toes, if you're going up onto toes, the same with the chair. And where we're lifting a foot up for bouncing a ball, you can still lift, working the legs. So everything's the same. If we're keeping our feet facing forward in the general set and you're seated, your feet stay facing forward. Maybe not such quite a wide stance. So go to wherever's comfortable with the legs. You might find you need your legs a little bit closer together than we're standing. Um, and also for seated, when we do the moves to the side, so we're taking a foot out and turning it, you do exactly the same with your foot on the floor. So when we rock through the feet, you're still lifting a heel. You'll see my knee move up then. And then you're lowering the heel and raising the toe. So you're still getting that sensation. You should find it's moving all through the bottom as you do this. And you're still working to the side. So there's not a huge difference except the sat down. You might need a chair to hold on to. Keep a chair handy if your balance needs it or the chair behind you. You want to sit down for a few or just sit down and have a cup of tea and watch. Okay, start in the warm up. Hope you can all hear me and you've got good feed today. Feet facing forwards, hip bone distance apart for this. We're going to start off moving the head from right to the left. Just slowly stretching out. If you want to, move slower and hold that stretch for five seconds. And then go back to the other side and hold it for five. Whatever you feel your neck needs and is capable of to get it to start moving. Drop the chin down, half circle through the front. If you're looking from one side, roll in the chin, look into the other side. Now remember the eyes are moving all the way around. You're looking as far back as you can, but only moving the neck to where you're comfortable. So swing those eyes to look right behind you. All the mums there with the eyes in the back of your head should have no problem at all with this. And then bring the head back to centre. You're going to keep the head still and facing forwards and just move the eyes to look up, down, right and left. Really concentrate on not letting that head move at all, especially when you're looking side to side. If you're not sure what you're doing, do a little film of yourself on your phone to try and pick up any movement. Do one more looking up, down, left and right. Okay, bring the shoulders up to the ears and let them drop. Both shoulders coming up, let them drop. One more, bringing them up and down. Then one shoulder at a time, up to the ear and let it drop. Just trying to free up the shoulder muscles. And then take an arm, I'm going to circle the whole arm forwards and around. Straight as possible with the arm, just taking a big circle around forwards and then back.
then changing sides, coming forwards and around. Find one probably works and moves a lot easier than the other one. And then taking it back. And hands come into the front of the shoulders. We're going to circle the elbows. Forward and around with the elbow. And circle it back and around. Changing sides. Going forwards and around. And then back. Drop the hands, we're going to swing them around the torso and you're just tapping the front of the shoulders as you swing the arms around the body. And then hands and arms come into the front, soft elbows and wrists and you're going to circle at the wrists, circle both hands in. Then take them back the other way. Make sure you're not tensing the shoulders up as you do this. Then make two strong fists with the knuckles facing away from you. You're going to stretch the fingers out, both hands as wide and as long as possible. Big stretch out of the hands. So your hand should look something like that. Back into fists and a big stretch out. One more into fists and a stretch out of the fingers. Okay, take the right hand palm up, gently pull back on the fingers, stretching out the inner wrist. So with all these exercises, if anything hurts, stop, make the move smaller, lower, higher, wherever you need to go. Then the other side, so palm up with the hand, stretch out that inner wrist, pulling back on the fingers, straight an arm as you can get. Heels of the hands into the lower back, We're going to push down and out, pushing down and out, wiping the kidneys. Hoping I can get a bit of painting done this week. It's been too cold to put any paint on the last week. Pushing down and out. Drop the hands. We're going to circle the waist. Circling round one way. Doesn't matter which way you're going. Trying to get a bigger circle round as you can. Keeping the feet flat to the floor. Moving from the ankles and the hips. And back the other way. Straightening back up. We're coming down to the knees. Give the knees a good rub in and around the knee joint. And then if your knees are okay, fingertips on the knees will circle them in. Look towards the floor. Then circle them back the other way. Uh, keeping the hands on the knees, you're going to look up to the right. Back through the centre to the left. Go from one side to the other. Right and back up. We're going to stretch the sides of the body so you're pushing down to the earth and up to the sky. Big reach up, long through both sides and you're going to try and hold this for two breaths. Not side bending, just lengthening the sides of the body. Changing sides, pushing one hand up to the sky, move back a little bit, one to the ground. Flat hands, looking up towards that top arm. 
One more to each side. Pushing up, reaching down, lengthening the sides. And last one to the other side. Drop the arms and stretch across the chest, so pointing out one arm long, pulling back across the chest, looking down that long arm. We're overrun with robins here today, they're all over the place. Drop in the arms and the other side, point an arm out and pull back across the chest. Release a couple of breaths while you're in that stretch. Drop the hands. We're going to try heel tap into the front. So you're going to bring a heel up in front of you towards the opposite hand. So that's the position you're trying to get into, keeping the top of the body straight. Bring in a heel up. So you're moving from the hip. Just heel tap into the front. Getting used to balancing on one leg as you do this. Then bringing the heel up behind and tapping with the hand or somewhere near the hand. Doesn't matter if you're not quite getting there. Heel tapping behind. And feet facing forwards, we're going to take one foot, half a step forwards and just lift from the toes to rock back on that heel, stretch the calf out, lower the toes to release, we're going to do it again, bringing the toes up, stretching the calf, and back down, one more. Lower the toes, turn the leg and the foot to the side and lift and lower again. Lower those toes down, so you're standing strong into the standing leg, gently stretching the calf out. Last one, lifting the toes and lowering them. Step the foot back, same the other side, so a little bit forwards. Shift your weight, lift the toes and lower them, lift and lower, one more, hold that calf stretch a little bit longer on this last one and lower it down, turn the leg and foot to the side, lift and lower. This time you should feel it more up into the bottom as you work in the side of the leg. Last one, hold it a little bit longer. Lower it down. Stepping back. And lift the heel up now. So you're coming onto the ball joints of the toes of that foot. Circle the ankle round one way. And back the other way. Drop the heel down, change feet. Coming up onto the toes, circling the ankle. So moving in the hip joint and in that ankle joint, back the other way. And it goes crack, crack, crack. Drop the heel down. I'm going to march through the feet, marching toe, toe, heel, heel. Outside foot, outside foot, inside foot, inside foot. Now, if you usually lead with your right leg, change so you lead with your left. Whichever your usual preference is, try and do it the other way around. So we're going toe, toe, heel, heel, out, out, in, in, toe, toe, heel, heel, out, out, in, in, toe, toe, heel, heel, out, out, in, in, toe, toe, heel, heel, out, out, in, in. Right. Done. Warm up. Let's see. Who's joined us? Hi Connie, good morning. Hi Sharon, that's a new name. I, I don't recognise you before. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining in. 
Hi Paula. Um, hi Nat, you're on today. Oh, I did, just came in to say hello. Hello to you, lovely lady. You're, um, your little Nash is doing fine. She's thriving. She's always first to bed. I think she um, likes to get her spot in with all the other little chickens. But I have to say, with some of these frosted days, are beautiful colours, absolutely gorgeous colours. Hi Susan, watching all the way from um, Australia. Nice to see you. I don't know whether it's bedtime or um, middle of the night there. And I can't. Excuse me. If I just flick them back down. Yeah, I haven't missed anyone. Right. Okay. So I have a thing about the breathing. I'm going to shed a layer. Right, so we did this a couple of weeks ago for some of the new people, but just to remind you. I want you to put your fingers into a heart shape, a bit closer, or something like that, and you're going to point the bottom fingers down into the groin and have the thumbs just about at your belly button just below, so you're making a heart with your fingers and it's resting on your belly. Okay, we're going to talk about belly breathing. Now, most people, when you say to them, I'll turn side on, so you might be able to see it a bit better. If you say breathe in, everybody usually will do this. Chest comes up, stomach comes in. That's what people tend to think of breathing in, and you say breathe out, and the stomach comes out and everything sinks back down. We're trying to do the opposite to that, so you're breathing from the stomach. Um, if you think about it, when you're putting air in, you've got to make room for all this air. So you need all the muscles to expand to make space for it. So as you take a breath in, you're going to let everything relax. Big breath in. You'll feel the stomach expand and those fingers might come apart a little bit. Then as you breathe out, you're starting from the pelvic floor, squeezing those muscles then squeezing through the waist muscles and you're slowly shrinking everything around the centre of the body to push that air out. When you get towards the end of the out breath, the last thing you feel is the rib cage start to drop down. It's when you're on empty. Then you breathe in and let everything go again. You might find the fingers come apart so you're using the stomach Breathing out, squeezing that air out. Feel the fingers close back up, stomach shrinking under your hands, and the rib cage drops. So I'll do a couple without talking too much because as you can see, it's not very easy to do and talk at the same time. So we'd start with a breath in, let everything go. And then breathing out, starting from the pelvic floor through the stomach. Feel the stomach contract beneath your fingers. Breathing in, let it all go. And out. Now you're trying to get a five second in breath, breathing in. Stop and then breathe out. When you're on empty, try and have a second before you take the breath in. Expanding the stomach and breathing out. So if you're not used to the belly breathing, it'll be the opposite way and it'll take you a while to train yourself to think about it. So if you remember, as you breathe in, you let everything go. So your stomach goes, everything is expanding. You're making room for all that air to come in. As you breathe out, think about starting with the pelvic floor muscles, front and back, as a gentle squeeze and almost think like you're squeezing um, a tube of toothpaste. 
So you're squeezing from the bottom, you're squeezing all these side muscles here, squeezing that air out until you, you've emptied the lungs, the rib cage will drop. So that's the way we're doing it. Now, when we move into the shibashi moves, that's how you're going to try to breathe. It's a lot to think about. So I'll direct you on the breaths in and the breaths out. Try and breathe in and out through the nose if you can. Or in through the nose, out through the mouth. You'll see me breathing out through the mouth because I'm talking to you. Um, and also if you can see what my mouth's doing and, he and maybe hear me go, then it'll give you an indication if you've lost your way a little bit. So we'll start feet facing forwards. Our start and finish position, Wuji. Uh, Wuji's state of absolute nothing. So you're trying to release all tension from the body. Just relax, calm things down, slow the breathing. Lose any tension. I'm going to take the hands to the side of the body. Your arms are going to be very slightly out palms facing towards the side of the thighs, fingers are soft and relaxed, elbows are relaxed so we're not got straight arms now, shoulders are relaxed and down, gently tilt the pelvis very slightly back, keep the knees soft, think about having equal weight through both feet, a golden thread pulling you taller through the front of the torso from your chest bone, and another one from the crown of your head. I'm gonna to have to move back a little bit because my hands are gonna chop off the film otherwise. Then think about the bottom. Make sure you're not gripping with the buttocks. Everything's relaxed. Jaws nice and relaxed, face forwards. You're as tall as you can be through the spine and slow that breathing down. Close your eyes if you want to while you relax into Wuji. We're trying to have at least a minute or two with the slow breathing. Getting into the right state of mind to be able to practice our 18 movement set. Now once we get into the movement, is 70% effort. You should never be out of breath. You should always be able to hold a conversation with someone. And if anything hurts at all, then stop for a moment. Check what you're doing. Adapt the movement so it's smaller. You're not causing any pain. You should feel like you're working your muscles, but not hurting them. We're gonna step out to commence, so at least shoulder width apart with the feet. Feet facing forward, soften the knees. Take a breath in, bring the hands up in front. And breathing out. Lowering it back down. So this is where you get to practice your breathing. Breathing in, letting that stomach expand and breathing out. Lowering down. So if you're moving up and down with the knees, so you're trying to get the bottom half of the body into play, make sure you keep the knees back behind the toes. When you bring the hands down, have a quick glance. Can you see your toes? Brilliant. If you can't, think about what those knees are doing. Think about the bottom and the pelvis going slightly back. Breathing in. And out. You need to go a little bit faster than me to match your breathing. You can manage it, go a little bit slower. If you can get to eight seconds for an in, 
and then an out breath, fantastic. Out. Okay, broadening one's chest, breathing in, hands coming to the side, breathing out, lowering down. And in. Out. So make sure with this move you're not throwing the arms back too far. We don't want the chest popping forwards. Breathing out. Head stays facing forwards, but as you take the hands out, when you reach as far as they go, you should still be able to see the fingers at the corners of your eyes. So stay in your peripheral vision. Breathing in. Keep the elbows soft. Relax those shoulders down. Breathing out. And in. Dancing with rainbows, you're going to shift the weight into one leg as you bring the arms up and turn to the side. Breathe out to the other side. Breathing in. And out. Your head turns from left to right. To look towards that open arm. Top hands come in towards the front of the crown of the head. And out. In. Think about what that tummy's doing. Breathing out. Just working on your core strength from the middle. It's the powerhouse where all our energy is. Out. One more to each side. Hands coming down to the front, circling arms. Cross those wrists, take a breath in. All right. Breathing in. All right. So hands aren't touching each other, they're just really close. Crossing at the wrist, keeping them relaxed and soft, make sure the thumbs don't tense, palms facing towards the floor as the hands come down, breathing in, and keep this circle as small as you need to, or as big as you want to. Breathing in. And out. One more. Take a breath in. And out. We're going to bring hands to the waist, palms up. You're going to drop one arm back, twist waist, swinging arm. Take a breath in. Come up and over with the arm. Breathing out, crossing in front of you. Breathing in to the other side. And out. Twist waist, swinging arm. Breathing out. 
only turning as far as you can comfortably go. And reaching forward with that opposite hand so you're in quite a full stretch as you turn to the side. We'll do one more each side. Breathing in, bringing that arm up and around, breathing out. Hands to the side, breathing in, arms coming up, it's rowing a boat. Breathing out, lowering down. Back to the hands face away as you take a breath in and out. Concentrate on what the feet are up to. Equal weight through both feet. They're not leaving the ground yet. And you're turning in the shoulder joint as the backs of the hands face behind you as you bring the arms up. And then the palms face the floor as you lower down. Last one, take a breath in and out, holding a ball. So you're going to take same arm as leg, you're going to lift the heel, reaching across the body with the arm. So breath in as you lift that heel up, reaching across. Turn the hand to face down, breathe out, back through centre, lower the heel. Keep breathing in. Holding a ball and breathing out. And then we'll go back a little bit. Make sure those feet are still facing forwards. Breathing in, coming up onto the toes and breathing out, back through centre as you soften the knees. Take a breath in. If you can, lift the heel up on the standing leg too. Breathing out. And in, and out. So head stays facing forwards, but eyes follow the moving hand. Breathing out. As you rest the hands, just bring it to the side, palm up. Breathing in. And out. Do one more to each side. Scooping up that ball of energy, letting it go and settling back down. Both hands now carrying the move, but at least ooh, a foot away from the front of your body, palms facing each other. Take a breath in and out. Soft knees, breathing in and out. Relax the hands, soft elbow, breath in and out. Carrying the moon or sometimes called looking back at the moon because you glance under that top armpit as you turn to the side. Bottom hand, palms come in to face the armpit. Breath in to centre, bring the elbows into the side, carry on turning. Breathing out to push the heel of the hand away. Then 
begin to pull it back. So twist waist, push pull. Breathing out, squeezing that air out from the stomach. Breathing in, letting it all go. Breathing out. So remember, keep that elbow soft. Not fully extending the arm. Make sure the hand's relaxed. Now hands going out, playing with clouds. You're gonna turn the palm to face you, take a breath in. You're gonna bring the arms around the body. Changing the hands over to breathe out coming back the other way. Breathing in, keeping that top elbow up, top elbow leads the way. Breathing out. Hands at about your nose, mouth level if you can get there. If not, if the elbow's dropping too much, bring the top arm down lower. Breathing in. Out. If you're playing with clouds, think about moving those hands through the mist of the clouds. So they've got a little bit of resistance as you turn them from one to the other. It's strong arms even though we're relaxed at the joints. And hopefully nobody's got their thumbs stuck up in the air. Thumbs are relaxed and down. Breathing in, we're going to change the scoop in the C. So as you get to the side, you're going to take that foot slightly forward, about half a foot forward, and turn it. Bring the back heel up, breathing in and out. So bringing up the heel on the in breath, lower the heel, bring up the toes on the out breath. Breathing in, going out over that knee, and out. Now you can go forward as low down as you want to. And if you come back, you can come back into a little bit of extension if you've got the balance. Breathing in, and out. If not, keep the move small the arms making a smaller movement. Breathing in and out. We'll change sides. Step the foot back and the other side. And out. Make sure that you don't lock out the knee as you lift those toes. So try and keep a soft leg here. You're not throwing the knee back. Breathing in, heel coming up, breathing out. It's a slow and controlled movement. In as you scoop, out as you look back and up. Stay in this side, playing with waves. Heels of the hands push away on the out breath. Breathe in 
to bring them back to the body. Breathing out. And in. Elbows stay soft. Wrists stay soft. Hands are relaxed. You're moving in that shoulder joint. And just a little bit in the wrists as the hands tip forwards and back. Try not to speed up too much on this. Breathing out. And in. Back to centre to change sides. Straighten up the standing leg and turn the other foot. Breathing out. And in. Uh, if you're one of the new people joining in the last couple of weeks, you might find this one really gets you for balance because you're not using your arms to steady yourself. You've really got to balance through those legs. Try not to overreach. Last one, breathing out as you push away, in, coming back. Now we'll stay this side, spreading wings, push away, turn the palms to face you, breathe in, the arms come out and wide, breathe out, they reach forwards, breathing in, same motion with the feet, out. Lifting up with the toes, lower the toes, lift the heel. Make sure the thumbs are relaxed and down. Think about the shoulders relaxing. And as you reach forward, the hands aren't touching each other. At least a foot apart, preferably shoulder distance a bit further. Last one to this side, taking a breath in, we're going to change sides, breathing out and in. Now if you're practicing at home without watching me, you're not sure of your timing, try to count slowly to five. So we'd go one, two, three, four, five, and back two, three, four, five. That'll put you in a right position for a kind of speed for practicing at home. We do everything so fast. Even after the last year and being locked down, I need to take this time to slow everything down. Breath in, back to centre. Straighten those feet up, you're now facing forwards again. Arms coming into the side, knuckles pointing upwards for punching. Breathe out, punch away. Breathe in to pull that arm back in. Breathing out. And in. So you're turning the arm as you punch away from you. Breathing in. Again, we're not fully extending the arm, so you're still keeping soft at the elbow. But it's a good, powerful arm. You're not making contact with anything. But if you could, that arm wouldn't move. Breathe 
out as you punch away, breathe in as you pull the arm back. Breathing out and in. Release the hands, give them a little wiggle, little fingers to the side of the thighs, flying like a wild goose. Make sure the feet are facing forwards. Breathing in, coming up onto the toes and breathing out, lowering back down. Come with back a little bit. Breathing in and out. Now when you return the hands down, they only come to the side of the thighs. They don't meet each other. Breathing in. Lifting those toes, lifting those heels, sorry, not your toes, you fall over. Breathing in. And out. And have a think about both feet working just as hard. So hopefully you can get the heels to touch the ground at the same time. One leg will want to work harder than the other one. Breathing in. Actually, I usually have a lot of trouble with my right leg working too hard. But um, we're a lot, lot more balanced today, so that's good. Drop the heels down. Feet staying flat, both hands now. You're gonna take a breath in, circling arms like a spinning wheel. And breathing out. So this is a medium movement for this one. You're bringing the whole arms up and around, keeping the head still. If you need to make it smaller, just move the forearms, breathing in. And out. Try and shift the weight a little bit, even with the smaller movement, from one side to the other. Change direction. If you're doing the full movement, we're going up with the arms, back through 12 o'clock, and bending all the way from the waist. Palms stay facing each other. You take a breath in and out. Do whichever version you want to of this. Whatever you feel you can do. Breathing in and out. Last one, take a breath in and out. Coming back to center, <coughs> bounce in a ball. Just take, take a moment just to check your stance, feet facing forward. You're going to shift the weight into one leg as you bring the opposite knee up with the hand. And breathing out. As you bring the knee up, let that foot dangle. And out. If you need to, just raise the heel. Got the balance, the knee comes up and you lift and lower on that standing leg. Breathing out and in. And out. In. Soon notice which side of your body works better than the other one when you're doing this. 
You can practice this outside of the routine if you want to. Last one to this side. Breathing out. And down. Okay, feet facing forwards. Press palms. Take a breath in. And then out. Palms facing up, pull the energy up to the face, turn the hands, pushing it down to the centre of your body on the out breath. Breathing in, straightening up through the legs, breathing out, lowering back down and breathing in. Make sure the thumbs are still relaxed. Breathing out. Slowing everything down. Got to the last move. As you bring the hands up, they're a little bit further away from the body. And then you turn the hands at the face and they come down a little bit closer. Breathing in. And out. We're going to step back together to close, bringing the hands up into soft prayer position down the centre line of the body to help you even up your left and right. Left hand, right hand onto the lower tummy. Close your eyes and then take some long deep breaths in and out. So as you breathe in, remember that tummy's expanding, you're letting everything go. And breathe in out, starting from the pelvic floor to squeeze that air out. Check through the body as you're breathing. Equal weight through both feet. Soften the knees. Tilt the pelvis very slightly back. We're only talking about a millimetre or two. Make sure the bottom's relaxed. Shoulders are relaxed and down. Hands are relaxed in front of you. Jaws relaxed. You've still got the golden thread taking you a little bit taller up through the crown of the head. As you take some long, slow breaths in and out. We're back in the room. Thank you everyone who joined in with that. That was quite a long shibashi set. We did quite a few breaths on each move. Not sure uh, how the time's going now. Um, have a drink, have a little drink while I see who's online. I moved the kitchen clock so I can't see it from here anymore, which is, uh, which is a bit of a pain. Um, morning Liz. And um, Ellie, morning. Are you joining in or are you um you working or comping? Hi, hi Maggie, I see you're on as well. Genghis, nice to see you, mate. Hi Lucy. So yeah, that's that's the 18 movements. Um if you do a six breath on each movement, that should take you about 16, 17, 18 minutes, something like that. So if you're allowed 20 minutes, you want to try and practice most days if you can. Um, allowed 20 minutes. So from the warm-up I do, take whatever bits you need to get your, your body moving. If you just need to get up and you can do a couple of roll downs and a bit of a stretch and you're fine, then go for it like that. If you need to do a little bit more, get stuff moving before you start. Do whatever your body um, lets you want to do. And then 
whack some uh, Tai Chi music on or have no music if you've got a um, nice bird song or just a nice quiet spot you can practice in um you can have chanting whatever music suits you you can if if it helps you zone out try not to have anything too fast and pumpy because you want to try and slow everything down but whatever you can practice to try some different things um you know root through the old cds and that and, and see what you've got oh gosh that's showing uh show my lack of tech and it cds um get a little gramophone record <laughs> give it a wind see what you fancy working out to and if you aim for six slow breaths so if you're looking at at least five seconds in five seconds out six breaths is a minute per exercise should take you about 18 minutes to work through the moves um, print off or from online or from from my uh, Facebook there's a list of the moves so you can print that out if you haven't got a copy have that near you so you don't have to remember the order and just try and work on um, remembering what each move is per its name you'll find the flow one after the other quite easily then and have a practice let me know how you get on um i better uh, give you a bit of a bit of a rub down before you go um otherwise you'd be going off all uh, all dozy right give the hands a good rub together and then we're going to rub the hands into the face all in and around the face, back of the neck, and then into the scalp. Give the hair a good rub in and around the scalp, back of the head. Then we're going to tap down the outside of both arms. Nice firm taps up the insides, down the outside of the legs from the bottom all the way down, and then up the insides. And then we're going to wipe outside arms, wipe it away, inside arms, wipe away, outside arms, wiping down, and inside the legs, arms, legs, get my arms and legs mixed up. Right, that's better. So now if you do need to leave, you can leave. Um, for anyone else to stay while I just chat on a little bit more. Um, if you missed the beginning, if you are 65 or over, you can now get your COVID jab if you haven't already been called up for it. So get onto the NHS website and get booked in. Um, what else was I going to say to you? Oh, I can't remember now. It's all too exciting. Oh, hi, Jane. Thank you to you too. No, thanks to everyone for joining in. It's much appreciated. Um, this video will be uploaded now onto my YouTube channel, um, which I've actually got 17 subscribers now, hooray, which is really exciting. So if you are on YouTube, please pop on a, a subscribe and a like and and uh, comments in there for me um i'd love to see you over on there I'm trying to get my numbers up on there a bit um and it, it's uh, it's very much early stages but i much appreciate the follow over on there oh, i'm glad you enjoyed it lynn it's a good start to the week you start the week on a positive note even uh, i mean the weeks have been flying past for me i don't know about um you guys out there thanks thanks jean Thanks for joining in. So hopefully um, Boris will let us out to play again soon. Uh, but in the meantime, keep practicing shibashi, practicing the balance. Um, practice standing on one leg just for the hell of it. Um, so when you're waiting for the kettle to boil, you're doing the washing up. I don't want to stand on one leg. Just stand on one leg. And then try standing on one leg and turn your head see how it affects your balance try standing on one leg and closing your eyes and see how that really affects your balance um, it's all really good practice for for strengthening those leg muscles thanks Sharon oh, work. see you got a workman again Pauline ah uh, tell you there's there's always something happening over there thanks Connie thanks for joining in Right, I haven't been interrupted by anyone today, so I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Um, I'll see you all next Monday. If there's, as always, if there's anything you want me to go over, ping me a message, pop, pop a comment up. If there's anything you want to concentrate on, anything you think, well, Sharon did that ages ago. I haven't done that for a while. Then let me know, and, and we'll make sure it's in next week's class. But stay safe. Um, 
stay warm and stay dry. I think we're in for a bit of rain at the moment. And we'll see you all next week. And hopefully by then, I might have my new rooftop installed. So bye for now. Thank you for joining and lots of love. See you soon.